James from Mac Audio, and today we are installing some uh, Hertz SV200 Neos into the bag of this um, Street Glide. It's a newer Street Glide, 14 plus. Um, so we got the naggy rings that we are going to be using. These are, these are nice rings. Um, you can see this is the top where your lock for the, the bike is. Um, they're gonna go against the bag like this. And the speaker is gonna sit inside it like that, against the bag. So I got one here, I'll flip it around and show you. So here's the first bag we've mocked up. We have the two points of the naggy rings. Same two points here and here, here and here temporarily mounted inside the bag you can see how it all lines up so this one is mocked up ready to roll um, we are going to this is our fender line so we're going to come back a little and cut off our circle before that so that we don't it's not exposed uh, so this is the area that's going to be removed over here we have the other one as you can see, it's marked up the same. And Ethan is currently building a template that will lay over it with the hole that we're cutting out. So we'll come right back and I'll show you how we're gonna finish this up. All right, so we, we got our template that we made. We're gonna line it up and we're gonna draw out the circle. All right, so we got it on, we put our screws in and we're gonna do our circle. As you can see, he started from where we're gonna end our line so that you don't see it on the bike. And that is our circle that we're gonna use. So we take this off and our speaker is gonna be cut out here to here. Um, allow, allow the speaker to come through uh, without you know anything that is seen on the outside of the bag so the uh, this part is hidden you know it's against the bike this part is exposed you can see into it so we're trying to keep it looking clean all right so we got this one done uh, we got to clean it up so it's not you know 100 percent, but it's pretty good we are going to start this one here he's got it all mocked up right now he's drilling his pilot hole and are you free hand cutting these Yep, I'm just jigsawing the... He's freehand cutting these, um, you know, if you were worried, you could use something like this and secure it with double side tape because it is roughly the same size hole and you can trace it. So there are other ways to do it. Uh, we also have template kits like this that we can use. Um, but, you know, Ethan's a baller, so he's going to do it by hand and we are using this little hand jigsaw. Uh, you could use a Dremel, a multi-tool. There's a million ways to do it. I'm not saying any one way is the right or wrong way, but this is how we're doing it. He's gonna, you know, follow the lines and then we're gonna clean it up and we'll be back to show you the next step. All right, so then the next step, we have some uh, nut certs here. We are gonna insert them here and here. Um, you could put them here, but you're really pushing it. Um, so we know that this holds pretty good with the two. So we're going to do the two here and here. Uh, the other thing that you could do at this point is you could use some grill cloth if you wanted to cover this. Um, you know, you can either 3M tape it, double side tape it, I mean, or CA glue. Here, you want to hold that? Um, CA glue, and you take this and you stretch it over and it adds a water resistance to it. Um, but these are water resistant and so aren't the speakers. So honestly, we're not worried about it. Um, so I'm not sure we're gonna do it. I don't think we are, but it is possible. So you would just a little bit of glue. We use what's called CA glue around the edge, put it on, stretch it, glue the backside, and it would give you a cloth mesh that you don't see anyways to protect from elements, but the speaker's gonna seal up and they're very good. And it is 100% protected from element. Well, 
the speaker is capable of protecting itself from elements. And this, if you get it wet, it's not gonna, um, it's a composite material, I believe made from the same stuff your saddlebags are. So as you can see, I just showed you the clip. He uh, is cutting it out a little smoother with the Dremel. And again, this is the long way um, to do it, but it works. Technical difficulty. But it's gonna clean it up from the jigsaw so it's a little smoother. You can see here he hasn't done yet, so there's a little notch where he's gonna come around. And then we'll take this and go around it. Um, we do have a uh, different tool we generally use, but it is broken right now, so we're doing it this way. All right, so we got the first one done, as you can see. Put it up, you can see it's mounted in here nice and solid. These room to clip your uh, bags back in. All right, so as you can see, I had the boogie out of there, but uh, I wanted to finalize this video and so I'd get it uploaded for you guys. But that's basically, in a nutshell, how to cut um, mid-range, subs, mid-bass, whatever kind of speakers you're using uh, into a bag. Um, it'll apply for 10s, 8s, and it virtually applies to any ring that you use. Uh, those are that one was specific for the nagging rings, um, you know. But they're all virtually the same. They're all a little bit different, um, so it really, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, some mount the, the screws mount differently or whatever it is, but the basic procedure is the same. Any questions? Comment down below. Um, but from there, basically, what we're going to do is on this one specifically, the amp is going in the bag because we're using. Uh, diamond amps and we can't fit them all up in the fairing and we're going to wire the amp into the bag and that speaker that the amp's in the bag with we're just going to run the wire over and the other one we're going to run it across with quick connects if the amp was in the fairing we could just run the white lines back and do a quick connect on each side um, i'll do a video on wiring that amp into the bag next but any questions comments hit me up below i'll answer them the best i can as soon as i can Sometimes I don't see them, so I apologize. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching.